Hallelujah, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord. Let's give a hand of praise for our elder Lee Spratt. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. Praise the Lord, saints. Praise the Lord, saints. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you all for all honor to God. Giving thanks and praises to Pastor and First Lady for trusting me enough to uh, give a word to their people, to God's people. More importantly, amen. You may have your seat. Hallelujah, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord. Well, I pray I won't be before you guys long this morning. Um, this is a, for some, this is probably pretty easy because it's, um, I don't do it too often. It's kind of challenging, you know, but um, I'm going to give you what God has for, what God gave me to give to you. Um, you know, when you go, when you, when you pay a bill or pay a bill or, you go to court, and if it's something you don't agree with, you can appeal it, right? Anything that you don't agree with, be it bills or uh, medical opinions, whatever it is, you can appeal it, right? So it seems to me like uh, we have some appeals to need to go forth before God. And it says the appeal renewed and uh, 2 Timothy uh one and two, I believe it is. Then you, my son, be strong in the grace that is, that is in Christ Jesus and the things you have heard me say in the presence of many witnesses and trust the reliable people will also be qualified to teach others. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. So with that being said, we have, some, we have some family members, friends, and I'm sure someone else that you, some people you may know, who got some bad news from a doctor, got some bad news from court, some bad news from school. Well, guess what? We need to appeal that decision. We need to appeal that decision because we can. We don't have to accept anything that the enemy puts our way. We can rebuke it in the name of Jesus. We don't have to... We don't have to accept it. We have the ability to stop the bird from pooping on our head. You know, he'll poop on it, but we can move to the side and let him do it. We can change. You know how when you hear a song on the radio station, well, you don't like it. What do you do? You change the station. We can also do that in our minds. And uh, we can change the station. Hallelujah, Lord. And uh, we all... We, I believe that most things, if not everything we go through, is to be a testimony, to be a service, a help to someone else, right? And, and when we act in that vein, people are, people are really helped by that. For instance, uh, Oshonda was um, dealt, dealt with the situation, Evangelist Oshonda. And um, she decided to stay flat-footed and let God deal with it, and she would come and bring what she could to the situation. And because she stood, we were able, I was able to stand. Because that very next day, that very next day, a situation came. And I was able to say, you know, I just seen this yesterday. I just seen this yesterday. I just watched it. So, what we're going to do is we're going to calm down first. We're going to calm down first. We're going to get some, uh, some structure up in here, and we're going to go to God with it, and we're going to move forward. Amen? Amen? And God is always working. The devil's working, but God is always working twice as hard on our behalf, okay? We have to know to be patient in all things. Even in the things that seem so dread detrimental that you have to go right away. When Lazarus was, Lazarus was someone that God truly adored and loved. And his sister called and Mary called him and told him or reached out to him and said he died. Jesus said, okay, pretty much I I'll be there. I'll be there. He took his time. And that reminded me of Oshonda. You know, I'm like, 
you could go. You could go. She's like, I'm going to stay right here. I'm going to praise God, and then I'm going to go. So the very next time I was able to, I was pressed with that situation, I said, we're going to praise God, and then I'm going to let you guys go, and I'm going to stay here. Amen. Amen. We all, we all bring something unique to the body of Christ. We all do. And we have to figure it out and acknowledge it and walk in it, right? So one Sunday, last Sunday, uh, my pastor came over, and uh, he was saying how that Saturday he went through so much, how his back was hurting. He had to get the pool ready. He couldn't walk. And he came over here, and um, he was able to bend over, touch his toes, lift his legs up. And I'm over there in the corner losing my mind to see my pastor go through something that's Hard as that and come out of it, right? And so on uh, one day last week, it was Monday, because God, you, God has his ways of talking to us, right? We have to figure out and acknowledge which way he talks to us. For me, for me, it's mostly when I'm driving. So I'm driving, going to pick a, a, a brother up and give some service. And so I was thinking about pastor, and I got rejoiced, and I got happy again. And uh, the Holy Spirit revealed to me that he said that... Uh, it's no wonder that are you really, but each time God does something, I'm still shocked. I'm shocked and surprised over and over again, right? But this is what he said to me. He said, it's no wonder. It's, it, no, not it's no wonder. He said, it's, it shouldn't be shocking that your pastor came over and got healed because of the foundation that was laid. Okay. The foundation, we all, we all bring something valuable, once again, to this ministry, right? Okay, now, unless you was here, you really don't know, but only God truly knows how hard it was for me to come and praise in this area right here. I remember not being able to, I had to learn how to walk all over again. I went from a walker, no, from a wheelchair from a bed, from a bed. I couldn't even, I couldn't even, I, I was stuck in a bed like this for about two weeks. I couldn't lift, I couldn't look to the left or to the right to even see what I looked like. I had to look straight because my sternum was, was fractured. Both my lungs collapsed. My hip was broke. I, have, I have a, still have a metal rod from my ankle to my knee. Still now in three metal screws in my hip, right? And let me tell you, it took everything in me, including God, to get out here and praise. And I wouldn't let nothing stop me. I let nothing stop me. I let nothing stop me. Let me tell you, sometimes I would be in so much pain when I got home. I would be in so much pain when I got home that all I could do was take a pill and sit down somewhere, right? But because I did that, I laid the foundation for somebody else to come out here and get healed. And get healed, okay? If you, if you have enough courage, enough courage and enough faith to step out, there is healing all over this building. But this particular healing that I have to say that I brought through my struggle, through my, through my pain, through my pain, I, when I tell you I praise God, I praise God to where I couldn't walk. To where I couldn't walk. So it's not a, it's no wonder that Pastor would come over here and get healed like that. Because that's some that's the power that was in me that I will no longer doubt or say, maybe I know without a doubt. Without a doubt. Because right now, when I get out there and praise, I leave here tired, but with no pain. No pain. I drop it all off. I drop it all off right here. I do not come, I do not leave this place the same way I came in. Hallelujah, Lord. I, I cannot. I cannot. So we all bring something very unique and powerful to the body of Christ. And, we're, and when we are one in the body of Christ, it works that way. Now, there's something that was revealed to me that I can't really go into because I don't remember verbatim, but verbatim. But thank God there's someone here that does. And this is not usually done, but I, I really want to bring you up here, Oshana, please. I want you to explain to them how when 
when the when when somebody steps on your toe, you know what I'm where I'm going, right? Let's go, let's go, amen. How 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 Jesus will will combine his people together to create one body, amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord God. <sighs> Thank you, brother. Because this came forth through God during Bible study. So a lot of times you guys will miss out on some good meat when you don't come here Tuesday at 6 o'clock. You're going to miss out on something. So God has us as a body. We have arms, eyes, shoulder, knees, and toes, knees, and toes in the body, right? We have those pieces. What happens is that if I, part of the body, stump my toe, my ankle might feel something and my knee might feel something, but my lash didn't feel a thing, right? My eyes was not affected with that pain that happened in my toe, but because we are connected, my lungs filled up with air and my mouth said, ouch. My hand grabbed the foot, the ankle, because it felt a certain type of pain. My heart pace increased because I felt some pain. So when my brother is in pain, see, when his foot was stumped, see, I had to feel somewhere else in my body. I had to use my hand to grab that foot while he was hurting because we're all one at the end of the day. So yeah, my last mic didn't feel nothing. But my eye looked to the, to the hills from where my blessings come from. That's what your eyes are supposed to do. And then your hand grabbed that ankle or that toe for relief. So we all come together. So last week when Rocky came forth with the hummingbirds, the two hummingbirds, and the message behind that was that these two people needed to come together because they both needed to feed each other. Why? Because we're one body. So we cannot let a, fo a soldier fall down. You can, your toe can't not just hurt and you just walk around and it doesn't affect your leg. It's going to affect your walk. It's going to affect your talk. It's going to affect the way that your heart beats because we're all one in Christ. Amen. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. I appreciate you. I thank you for that because I couldn't remember it. And, you know, we can't give out what we don't have. Amen. I can only give you what I got. Um, God gives me an abundance of things to share, and I don't mind sharing it because why? Someone else is learning from it. And while someone else is learning from it, I'm consistently growing. And um, we overcame by our testimony. Amen. Amen. We overcame by our testimony. Amen. So when, um, with, th with this petition back again, we have petitions that we need to send back to God because he's the author and the finisher of our faith, of our book of life. He says yes when the others say no. Amen. And you guys all inspire me so much more than you know. I learned so much from you guys. And uh, just last week, um, Sister Montgomery, she was praising and she said, Pow, Jesus, pow. And I said, wow, I started laughing real hard. I said, what you, what you mean by that? She said, well, you know, I draw. And I'm kind of animated. You know, you know how those characters, um, when they sock you and, and the cartoons, they go like, pow. And I'm like, wow, you know, God has hit me so many times. Pow, 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 pow. So, so with that being said, and then I have, I have a granddaughter who's, who's scared of the pow pow. You say the pow pow to her, there's an issue, right? So my, my thing is this, when you, when you think about animation, nobody gets hurt, right? They don't, they kind of, they feel it and then again, they don't feel it, right? So I'm about to punch some people today. I'm about to, I'm about to punch some people in their spiritual eyes. I'm about to punch some people in their spiritual mouth. I'm about to punch some people in their spiritual chest. I'm about to punch some people with their head walking down. I'm going to up a cup of up so that they look up from where the help come from. Hallelujah, Lord. I'm about to give them the pow pow. I'm about to give them the pow pow because God gave it to me to give it to you, all right? Hallelujah, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord. Pow! 
pow, pow, with the spirit of, with, with, pow, with the spirit of truth. Pow, with the spirit of, uh, 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 hallelujah, Lord, thank you, Jesus. Pow, with, pow, 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 Jesus. Pow, Jesus. It was right on the tip of my tongue, Father. Hallelujah, Lord. Power with encouragement, Jesus. Ah, hallelujah, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. Because you're worthy, Father, and you're worthy to be praised, Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord. I, 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 I would love to punch some people. <laughs> I would really love to punch some people, but I can't remember what I was going to even punch them with. Amen. So I just got to be honest. I can't, I, listen, I can't get up here and pretend something that I'm not, okay? I'm, I'm, I'm human. I have a word in me. I'm not always able to give a word. Being up here is very hard for me, okay? When you, when, and, but, but this is the, I, I realize that in order to, to ensure that what I'm giving to God's people when I'm not up here is to be judged. So what, I, what I'm saying to you outside of the ministry, I should be able to say here so you guys will see what's what because what's in you will come up, right? Yeah. Amen, amen, amen. So I'm, I'm, I'm nervous, so I'm trying to bring it back to where I can remember some of the things that I was supposed that I said I was gonna say when I got up here. Hallelujah, Lord. Father, I'm asking that you encourage your people, Father. I'm asking that you strengthen your people, Father. Hallelujah, Lord. I'm asking that you give them the love, Father, that they so desire, Father. I'm asking you that you give them provision, Father, for their vision, Father. Hallelujah, Lord, Father. I'm asking that you give them peace in their mind, Father, the peace that surpasses all man's understanding, Father. I'm asking that you give them witty ideas and, and, and inventions, Father. I'm praying that you give them a vision for their life, Father. Hallelujah, Lord. I'm praying that you give them visions for their children's, Father, visions for their family members, Father, visions for the ministry, Father. I'm praying that you bring them and their family so close, Father, that not even air can come between them, Father. And we pray all these things in your precious and holy name, Father. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. I can honestly say there's no place like this. Where else can you go and get this kind of training? Where else can you go and get this kind of truck, this training? Okay? I know, listen. I know without a shadow of a doubt, God knows my heart. He sees where I am, but he also sees, sees where I want to be. He doesn't expect for me to be perfect because if I was perfect, I wouldn't be here. There's only one perfect person, right? So just the fact that I'm willing, I'm willing to do what was called for me to do means he's going to make me better at it. What you're seeing right now is the beginning of something really powerful. The next time I stand before you, it won't be like this. Amen. Amen. But I thank God that you guys give me a chance and make me feel welcome to get up here and do what God has called me to do. I thank God that you give, that, that we all give each other the, uh, the, the strength to get up here and attempt to do what we're learning, attempt to tell and show what we're learning, what God is saying to us, where we're at in our walk with Christ, and, you know, what we're doing for his people. And most of all, if you have the desire to, to be helpful to, to someone else. I, I want to leave you with this. Um, we can, you, you may have a, um, a really, 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 fancy car. Let's just use a car as an example, right? And everybody want to ride in that car, right? Everybody want to ride in that car, right? But who's going to put some gas in that car when it's out of gas? When it stops running, who's going to help you push it up that hill? 
when they see you pushing it by themselves, how many people are going to stop, put their car in park, and come help you push yours up the hill? That, you know, when, when you, that kind of don't happen, but that's where we need to be. That's where we need to be with one another. If I see, oh my goodness, hallelujah, Lord, God is so good. God is so good. God, God bless you guys. God bless you guys. I thank you for coming. My family is here. My family, Veronica, Ray, the little, they are here in the flesh. Hallelujah, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. When you have a desire, he will perfect the concerns of your heart. Oh, my goodness. Listen, this is the icing on the cake for me. I couldn't ask for more than this. I've been trying to get this family here to church forever. Just to see what we're learning, to see how we do things, to see how we're growing, as not, not as a ministry, as a family, our, our family, because they know our family, right? And she told me she was going to come. She came before but couldn't find the church, right? But they are here now. They are here now. I thank God for you guys. I pray God riches blessings over your life. I pray that this is the beginning of something very powerful to come. I pray God's angels dispatch around your home, around your children. Okay, in his word, he said that not one weapon formed against those who believe in Christ will prosper. Not one weapon formed against you or your family or anybody in here will prosper in Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you for your grace and your mercy, Father. I pray that before I get off this stage, Father, that you give me something tangible, Father, to give to your people, Father. Hallelujah, Lord, Father. As only you can, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I shut it out. I shut it out. shut it out. Yo shirori, yo shiro ho, yo shiro hai. Hallelujah, Lord, thank you. Jesus, thank you, Lord, thank you, Lord, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, thank you, Lord, thank you, Lord. Is there anyone in the room that needs encouraging? If you do, raise your hand. Is it no, if you do stand up. Is there anyone in the room? who needs to feel the power of God? Is there anyone in the room who's feeling like they don't, they need, they're not feeling loved or appreciated? Is there anyone in the room that needs appreciation? Is there anyone in the room that needs guidance? Any, uh, anyone in the room that can use some wisdom or some knowledge? Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. I pray, I pray, I pray. Hallelujah, Lord, Father. I pray that this week, Father, this week, Father, that you show up and show out in your folks' life, Father. I pray that you open the doors, open the floodgates, Father, and give them a blessing that their hearts cannot con contain, Father. I pray that you give them the peace that surpasses all man's understanding, Father. I pray that you give them wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, Father. Let them hear your voice, Father, and a stranger's voice. They will not follow Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord. We thank you, Father. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you for your yeses, and we thank you for your noes, Father. We thank you for the test, Father, that which turns in. There's no test without a testimony, Father. We thank you, Father, for the, the ability to not just hop over the hurdle, Father, but to leap over it, Father. We thank you for not moving the problems out of our way, Father, but for giving us the energy and the strength and the wisdom to go straight through it, Father. Hallelujah, Lord, Father. And we pray all these things, Father. Hallelujah, Lord. If there's anyone, anyone who needs prayer for anything, um, can I have the ministers come, come down and... Um, we have someone who will stand in prayer for you. One thing, one thing I do remember as I'm saying this, my mother who's not here now, but every Sunday, she would never leave this church without coming to the altar. 
And whenever she came to the altar, I know that she wasn't praying for herself. God's will will come to pass whether you were here to see it or not. Can I tell you that we are still walking in the blessings of my mother? Something that she came down here and prayed for, okay? We are still walking in our blessings because why? God is true to his word and he's true to his people. Amen. Hallelujah, Lord. If, you, if you're not coming down to the offer, just stand in prayer.